Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now in previous videos, I've stated how testosterone levels are much lower in men today than they were 100 years ago and even 50 years ago. Unfortunately, things continue to get much worse. In fact, new research shows that testosterone levels have dropped by a whopping 30% in just the past 17 years. And if that's not bad enough, the research was done on men ages 15 to 39. Thus, it was young guys. It's now one thing if older guys in their 60s and beyond are having these low testosterone problems, but now the massive testosterone decline is even affecting teenagers and young men. And I can only imagine how much worse it's going to be for 40 plus and 50 and 60 year old guys. So let me quickly summarize the study and I'll keep it simple. First of all, the study was initiated by the Center of Disease Control, the CDC, so it's legit. Um, the years covered were between 1999 to 2016, which is 17 years. Anna stated the age group of these men was between the ages of 15 to 39. Okay, so back in 1999, the average total testosterone levels of young men was about 600 nanograms per deciliter. Now, depending on the blood test or the company you use, the range for total testosterone is between 250 to 950. So 600 is right in the middle. Now, the researchers then looked at the average testosterone levels of men in 2016. Again, the same age range between 15 to 39. Now, new people, obviously not the guys from 1999. Now, what they discovered was very negative. During the 17 years, 17 years later, basically in 2016, the total testosterone levels of men in that same age range, you know, 15 to 39, was now 400 nanograms per deciliter, down from that 600 nanograms. That's a drop of 30%. Now, that's a huge difference in just such a short period of time, you know? It's only 17 years, and it's a very big negative change. While, you know, 600 nanograms was in the middle, 400 is now, you know, on the lower range, which means more potential muscle loss, um, extra belly fat, lower energy, probably less happiness and more depression, and yes, erectile problems and lowered sex drive. And these guys aren't even 40 years old, which means that the testosterone is only going to go lower and lower as they get older and older. Okay, so what's the cause of this epidemic? You know, well, the scientists weren't really sure. And this is because the body's really complicated and it's never just one thing that's the cause or even one solution. Now, one of their theories or guesses is that there is an increase in estrogen levels, the female hormone. Now, again, we both have it. Guys have all the same hormones women have, just in different ratios. And if you didn't know, as estrogen levels increase, your body's feedback loop um, basically causes your body to produce less testosterone. So higher estrogen causes less testosterone production. And these days, unfortunately, there's a lot more estrogenic compounds found in our environment, such as in our foods, uh, the plastics, you know, cleaning supplies, lotions, and so forth. Plus, there's been a sharp increase in the use of marijuana, which can also increase estrogen and decrease testosterone levels. Additionally, the most recent findings at the CDC showed that approximately 78% of men are either overweight, obese, or morbidly obese, an increase of almost 50% from just 1999. Basically, higher body fat also means more estrogen production, which means lower testosterone levels. Okay, so what's the solution? Well, there's never just one cause, right? There's, just, there's never really one solution. Obviously, we would all benefit with higher testosterone levels, both total and free testosterone levels. However, we also need to manage what I call negative aging hormones, such as high levels of female hormones like estrogen, as well as stress hormones like cortisol, and also DHT, dihydrotestosterone, which is linked to prostate problems and hair loss. You see, the goal is to maximize and optimize your positive, quote unquote, youth hormones while balancing and minimizing those negative aging hormones. So let's talk about three great solutions that you can take action right away. The first is lose fat, especially if you're overweight, you know, you got to lose some fat. It'll help with everything, all your problems, health problems from blood pressure, blood sugar, and so forth, including your testosterone levels. Okay. Because remember, lower body fat means lower estrogen and means better testosterone. Again, losing fat, it's not that complicated. It's just basically eat less, eat healthier, try to exercise more. 
which brings up the second solution is to gain muscle, okay? The more muscle you have, the better testosterone, okay? And one of the best things you do is to lift weights, okay? Whether it's a dumbbell or barbell or cables or, you know, machines, doesn't really matter. And all you need is about three times a week, 45 to 60 minutes per workout, that's it, okay? Maximum three hours a week. So please don't give any excuses. Also, I know that, you know, losing fat and gaining muscle can take up time and effort, but you gotta do it. Of course, there are simpler ways. You can just take some supplements. You know, there are specific herbs, vitamins, and minerals that help optimize your hormones. And it's true that, unfortunately, most supplements don't work. Trust me, I know, I've been there, I've been ripped off many times. However, there are a few that have long proven track records, supplements and herbs that do work, okay? Specific ingredients that are clinically validated to work and more importantly, work in empirical evidence in the real world, okay? And I've listed the ones below. Um, you can take a look at them right below this video. Again, don't worry, I've made it super simple, easy. You don't have to take a bunch of vitamins, so it's easy and convenient. Listen, if, if you look at the this study, maybe there's flaws with it as there are with any and most studies, okay? Then most of them aren't perfect and they've got holes in them. However, we can't deny that testosterone levels in men, and yes, even women too, are going lower and lower each and every decade. And there's dozens of very good studies clearly showing this and backing this up over and over again. Obviously, lower testosterone isn't good for your health, physically, mentally, or emotionally. And the worst part is, the older we get, the worse the problem becomes. So please, as always, don't just passively listen to me, all right? This is a really big problem. Just take action, right? Implement just some of the suggestions I made today. I made three simple ones. Do them, start with one, do them regularly. Um, and the sooner you take action, obviously, the faster and more positive the results and the healthier and happier you'll be today and in your future. Again, take a look at below this video for simple improvement solutions for improving your testosterone levels and balancing your hormones regardless of your age. If you found this helpful, let me know below, subscribe, you know, click the notification icon, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what questions you have about today's topic, clarity that you need, and I'll do additional videos about this in the future. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I wish you a very happy and healthy day.